All right, so a little bit of a different video this time. Usually I just include highlights of the stream, but I feel like this farm requires some explanation. So first I'll show the actual end result of an 80 minute session I did earlier today. Uh, here I'm just vendoring everything. I obviously keep the elemental earth and the solid stone. And the reason I'm showing this first is because there's two ways to do this farm. You either keep high value items like elemental earth, solid stone, and some high value grays and greens, and then you just destroy all the lifeless stones that take up random space, or you do the normal way and you just fill up your inventory. And once your inventory is full, you hearth out, you vendor, and you come back. Now, they both turn out to be around the same gold per hour, so you're free to do whichever farm you want. I tried both, they're both okay. I prefer the one where you just fill your inventory and come back, but you might prefer this one. Now, the 80 minute session came out to be around 230 gold. So, when you adjust for exact gold per hour, that's around 166. Now, the important part is that on Gehenna's, Elemental Earth is around 5G and the stack of Solid Stone is around 7G. Now, if these items are much cheaper on your server, then you probably won't make as much. But this is the price here and this is what I'm making. So I'll show you guys the poll and explain the poll as well. And then I'll just include a sped up version of the actual run because it's just running around in circles. Alright, so first of all, you want to just send in your Void Walker, dot him up, just DPS him as much as you can before he does the first earthquake. That's when the actual first hurdle starts, where he spawns adds, you're starting to get chunked, your Void Walker is about to die. So you just want to pump as much damage into him, and then once the adds spawn, you can either dot them now, or you can AoE taunt with the Void Walker, let, them tank, uh, let him tank them for a bit. It's fine, but you want to make sure to da damage Landslide as much as you can without risking your dots killing him because you do not want him to die. Now, you can put some uh, some dots on the adds as well, get them a little lower, and then once Landslide is close to death, you just want to run around. Now, before your Void Walker dies, obviously, obviously just sack him, and if you're struggling, if you're not as geared, you can use your demonic uh, sacrifice, your Feldom, to demonic sacrifice a second Void Walker if that's what you need. And then all you have to do is just focus on the ads. The whole farm just involves running around in circles and killing ads while Landslide is running around low HP, unable to catch up. Now, you always want to be on the other side of the pillar, or else the earthquake will hit you, will stun you, and then you run into problems. It probably won't kill you, but it's always better not to get hit by stun. So all you do is just run around in circles, you give each ad a siphon life, a corruption, and then you just let them hit you. Now if you're not as geared, there are a couple things you can do to make this easier. Uh, you can get a spirit uh, Zanza, costs like 2-3 gold. You can get a ZG buff, you can ask a priest for fortitude, you can use Troll's Blood or Elixir of Fortitude, they're all very cheap consumables and they will help you. Now I'm doing this without anything, just to show that it can be done, but I've, uh, I've realized that it's much easier to just spend, you know, three gold, get a Zanza, wait ten minutes in Booty Bay, get a ZG buff, and then this farm becomes much easier. The reason is we're running uh, SMDS. Now, any variation of SMDS is fine. You don't need Coex. All you need is just avoid DS and Siphon Life. And... Uh, that's it. Now, the higher HP you have, the more your DS is going to take for, and then this farm becomes easy. Uh, in terms of gear, like I said, the more HP you have, the better. There's really no specific uh, spell power threshold you have to hit. It's all about just giving each mob two dots, running around, and that's it. Now, if you, run ev you, if, if you ever run into trouble, you can just stand on the other side of the pillar and bandage up while he does the earthquake. It'll give you like 4 or 5 ticks of the bandage and then you're perfectly fine. So if you need to use a health potion, why not? It's better than dying. It's like 1 gold. You'll make that back from 1 pack. And that's pretty much it. 
all you do is run around in circles, kill mobs, loot them on the way back, and that's it. Probably doesn't matter, but I'm sure there's an answer to it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Agony less mana, but if corruption kills faster, then I don't take as many melee hits from those things. And then, you know, I take less damage. Like, I did the corruption one last, and it's dying at the same time as the agony one. Or, well, roughly the same. This probably doesn't matter. How much gold do I have? I don't know. Like 500k or something? Can we dispel? Uh, yes. Correct. Right, I got one more spot, uh, which means I'm killing Landslide now. As his blue is gonna occupy the last spot. That's the new farm. I'll probably cut it together to into like a YouTube video or something later. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just completely busted. Brain dead, easy, good gold per hour. What more can you want? This is the dream. A brain dead farm that gets you 100 gold an hour. If your server allows it. I don't even have space to pick up all the shit, so I'm just gonna hearth out. Oh, um. <laughs> How's this easier than DME? You run in circles and you spam siphon life. If that's not easy, I don't know what is. Yeah, I know. For paladins, it's even easier because they have so much armor, right? Like, the adds don't do any damage to them. Does this mean no No, 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 no. I'm still doing DMEs because it's better gold power. But, if you wanna, you know, watch a series or something, and you just wanna run around in circles, here's a farm that you can do while running around in circles. So, I roughly farmed, you know, I wouldn't say one hour. We did like, what, 45 minutes ish? Because I did half an hour now, and I did 15 minutes earlier. So, 45 minutes. This one's over with the H-Pally. The H-Pally can do the solo. He doesn't need you, does the wall. The H-Pally does this by himself. Uh, Alright, let's see how much gold I have. Oh, not selling that. Oh, not selling that. Not selling that either. Right. We have uh, 3062. So we made uh, 20, 23 gold in vendor. Oh. 
Okay, whatever. It's 20 silver. Uh, each stack is 7 gold. We got 2, 4, 5 stacks. 5 and a half. Five, let's say 5. So that's 35 gold. So we made 57 plus 13 elemental earth. That is 75 gold. No, 65. Sorry. 65 gold plus 57. Under 22 gold in 45 minutes. What the fuck? So that is 160 gold an hour, yo. 160 gold an hour! Running around in circles. 160 gold an hour running around in circles.